Hello friends, welcome. Today we are doing a spread about chronic illness. Something I have some first-hand experience with, unfortunately, both for myself and for various family members growing up. This spread is not so much about finding a cure. It's not a miracle. It is to help provide inspiration of where else we could still look for information. Have we exhausted all of the options before us for managing this illness? Is there something we haven't tried yet? It is a nine card spread. We're gonna get right into it. Quick reminder, there are now links in the description to my Discord server, my personal website, and also to my Buy Me A Coffee page. If any of those interest you, go ahead and check them out below. For this demonstration, I will be using the Wizard's Tarot. Card one, what has been the hardest aspect of this condition? Card number two, what new or extra conventional medicine approach is available? Card three, would pursuing alternative medicine provide additional answers? Card four, is there new research available? Card number five, what practical methods exist for pain management or managing my symptoms? Card six, how can I minimize my stress? Card seven, what unexpected positive factors are affecting the scenario? Card eight, are there additional resources or programs I can apply for? Card number nine, what is the best possible outcome? For this spread, we will be using the Aces through Tens and the Court Cards because we're dealing with a down-to-earth issue here. I've already separated out the Major Arcana, so we're going to shuffle up the remainder of the deck and see what the cards have to say. All right. For this demonstration, I'm using myself as the example because I have multiple chronic health issues, actually. Oh, that's a lot of reversals. That's not fun. Oh, my. Uh, <laughs> Seven out of nine cards are reversed. Okay. As I was saying, I am doing this reading using myself as the subject of the reading due to my own personal chronic health problems. Card number one, what is the worst or hardest part of my conditions? We have the Ace of Wands. So for context, I have arthritis, which developed when I was, it was either when I was 19 or 20. It was at a very stressful time in my life, and... Uh, the doctors kept trying to tell me I was crazy. <laughs> but um, then they would examine my fingers and go, wait, you're already experiencing swatting? You're, you're only, you're too young for this. Um, for those who don't know, swanning is the twisting of the joints uh, as arthritis progresses because the, this particular form is when uh, tendons get pulled. So if I just straighten my fingers out, you can see how multiple fingers are twisted. Um, that, that, that's swanning. But card one, ace of wands. Yeah, it, it's starting over again and again and again. So my own personal history with chronic illness has been periods of time where I feel pretty good and then periods of time where I feel like absolute garbage. And it's always kind of that there's always more to learn, particularly after having felt so good. Like this summer was incredible. It's the first time I really didn't suffer. Suffer is the wrong word. Experience is a better word. I didn't experience many symptoms at all this summer. And then the first major storm hit, and it's like, oh, yeah, apparently that's still a thing. So, so the constant relearning and the constant education has been 
for me, the hardest part of this. Card two. Are there new or extra conventional methods of treatment that I could pursue? Uh, Ten of Wands, that seems like a no. It's completed. Uh, I could probably still spend tons more money, uh, but doesn't really feel like there, there's much more for me to learn about arthritis that would help. Card number three, would alternative medicine provide additional relief? We have the Ace of Pentacles reversed. I've already pursued several that have been helping. The Ace of Pentacles being reversed, it's not a new journey. It's actually keep doing the things I've already been doing. From my personal experience, again, this is not medical advice. This is just how things have worked for me. As I have improved my sleep, as I have improved my diet, and as I have, upon occasion, when necessary, got acupuncture or chiropractic work done for me, that is how the alternative medicine has helped me. So the, the feeling I'm getting from this card is, at this time, there's not more alternative things to try. Keep doing what I'm doing. That's kind of what I'm feeling. Card number four, what new research is around and how can I access it? I see the Six of Cups reversed. The Six being a card about memory, specifically nostalgia, looking back with fondness, being reversed, looking back with negative, actually leads me to believe that there's old research that would help me that I haven't found yet. Interesting. I'm going to need to look into that. Card number five, what practical methods exist to manage symptoms? We have the Six of Swords reversed. The Six of Swords is about getting out of problems. <laughs> the Six of Swords being reversed here is that there's not really any more practical things I can be doing other than what I'm already doing. Card six, how could stress be minimized? We have the Two of Wands reversed. The Two of Wands is about choices, usually about picking between two options and, and the suggestion of following your passion. Being reversed, this is, it feels like it's saying limit my choices, which is pretty consistent with what I've learned from my parents about chronic illness. They both had chronic illnesses as well. And it's not so much limit your choices as it is, pick what you actually want to do and tell everyone else no. They can think you're a bitch. They can think that you're just not, they can think ill of you if they want, but we've got, we've all got limits. And with chronic health problems, you have to be more careful about where and how you choose to use your energy. Card seven, what unexpected help or positive influences are there? We have the Eight of Swords reversed, which is interesting because the Eight of Swords is about feeling trapped, about not seeing options. So being reversed, it's that there are options available. There is help out there. A lot of it just comes down to asking for help, which I am bad at. As is true of many uh, children who end up in caregiver roles, I'm used to the one who, I'm used to being the one who always helps others. I'm not so good at letting other people help me. I get the feeling that's what this card is trying to tell me. Card number eight, what extra resources can be applied for or asked for? We have the Queen of Wands reversed. Again, that feels like there's not really much more I can ask for. I'm already receiving a lot of things. I'm already managing things fairly well. Card number nine, what is the best possible outcome? We have the Page of Swords reversed. And... I'm leaning towards a rather unconventional interpretation of this card. It's that the best possible outcome is that I'm no longer fitting the role of the Page of Swords. I've outgrown that. Because the Page of Swords is inexperienced. He's new. He's learning how to deal with his problems, but hasn't actually accomplished much yet. It, this feels like the best possible outcome is that I have, that I am no longer categorized by this card, but instead have progressed. It's always kind of odd doing a reading like this for myself and then putting it online. <laughs> but 
But it's how you demonstrate things. It's how you teach stuff. That being said, we have reached the end of this reading. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye.